Hello friends and welcome to another virtual Saturday story time with the Ferguson Library. I am Miss Sarah and I have such a treat to share with you today. We are going to read together Winter Dance by Marion Dane Bauer. Now just a few days ago on December 21st, it was the first day of winter. So in honor of it being officially winter now, we are going to read this book and meet a few different kinds of animals and learn more about how they get ready for the long, cold winter months. Are you ready? Let's begin. Winter Dance by Marion Dane Bauer, illustrated by Richard Jones. A single snowflake floats through the air, spins, leaps, settles on the nose of a fine red fox. Winter is coming, says the fox. What should I do? I can tell you what to do, says a woolly caterpillar. Wrap yourself in a shiny chrysalis, so you'll wake up to a butterfly spring. And the woolly caterpillar crawls away to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I'm not meant to fly. I can tell you what to do, a turtle calls. Tip your tail to the sky and swim down, down, down to bury yourself in the slick, cool mud. And the turtle does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. Mud is much too muddy. Let me tell you what to do, whispers a bat. Zig and zag and swoop into a cave. Then hang by your toes and go to sleep. And the bat does just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. My toes would get tired. Plop, an acorn drops from a tree. I can tell you what to do, chatters a squirrel. Gather, 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 then quick, quick, hide everything away. And he scampers off to do just that. That won't do for me, says the fox. I don't even like acorns. We'll tell you what to do, geese honk from the sky. Flap your wings and fly away to warm days and silky soft nights. And going, going, gone, the geese do just that. <sighs> that won't do for me, says the fox. I belong here in the forest. A snowshoe hare hops by in his new winter coat. I can tell you what to do, he says. Turn yourself white to match the snow. And the snowshoe hare, who has done just that, disappears into the whitening world. That won't do for me, says the fox. I love my red fur. I can tell you exactly what to do, says a great black bear. 
curl beneath the roots of a toppled balsam tree and tuck all your growls away. And the great black bear does just that. That won't do for me at all, says the fox. I'm not a bit sleepy. Hush, the wind sighs. Hush. The fox lies down on the forest floor and puts his nose between his paws. The sun slides down the blue bowl of the sky. Hush, the wind says again. The fox hushes. More snowflakes land on his nose. And then a whistle, soft, soft. A white tipped tail, golden eyes. I can tell you what to do, says a fine red fox bowing low. When a million snowflakes fill the air, twirling, tumbling, spinning, waltzing, you and I join them. Horse, says the fox, standing tall, because that's what we fine red foxes do in winter. Dance. The end.